do during sunny days? Why do you do them on sunny days? During some months of the year, we experience sunny days. On these days, the sun shines brightly and gives off much heat. Let's look at some of the activities that we can do during sunny days. Newly harvested palai needs to be dried under the sun. Many farmers harvest their crops on sunny days and start planting before the rains come. Coconuts are dried under the sun before they are manufactured into oil. Fish are dried so that they can be preserved. Fish vendors can dry the fish on hot days too. Children have a lot of outdoor games to choose from during fine or fair weather than during rainy days. These games include ball games, running games, kite flying, and biking. Washing clothes or doing laundry is best done on sunny days. After washing clothes, drying them can follow immediately. Clothes dried under the sun smell better than when they are dried during cloudy or rainy days. Vendors like to sell their goods on days when the weather is fine. This is because traveling is easier on these days than on rainy days. The heat and light of the sun help human beings, animals, and plants. The sun's rays make the bones of human beings strong and healthy. Plants can make food with the aid of sunlight. Animals living in very cold places get warmth from the sun. However, the sun's heat and light can do us harm too. Overexposure to sunlight hurts the skin. The heat from the sun can burn the skin. The skin gets burned easily after long exposure to sunlight. The sun burns the skin more strongly at noon. The skin will then turn very red or turn to brown. If overexposure is really bad, the skin blisters. The heat and light from the sun can hurt the eyes, too. It is not good to look directly at the sun. Looking directly at the sun may cause damage to your eyes. When plants are exposed to the sun for a long time and their water is depleted, they dry up and oftentimes they die. Their leaves turn yellow to brown. <coughs> Animals
animals that work in the fields may also be exposed to too much heat from the sun. They may die of heat and dehydration. What must we do to avoid these from happening? Here are some of the precautionary measures that we can take to prevent too much exposure to the heat and light of the sun. Use umbrellas as shields from the heat and light of the sun. Protect the eyes from the sun's heat and light by using hats, sunglasses, or cloth bands for the head. Avoid looking at the sun directly. Drink lots of water or fruit juices during warm days to replace the water that comes out of the body in the form of perspiration due to too much heat. Apply sunblock lotion on your skin if you have to stay under the sun. Water your plants frequently on very warm days so that they will not dry up. Provide your pets and other work animals with plenty of drinking water so that they will not get thirsty. Give them a regular bath. How much have you learned? Let's find out! Excellent! That's it for this lesson. See you again soon!